Hello and welcome to another LEGO Dimensions Fun Pack Review. This is Gollum's Fun Pack from Lord of the Rings, set number 71218. We have Gollum here and Shelob the Great Spider. Tells us, hey, you can also change this into something else. For example, you can turn it from uh, Shelob the Great, I'm obviously not pronouncing that right, sue me, uh, to an egg-legged stalker, which is just another spider, or a poison stinger, which is just another spider. So you get three different kinds of spiders. Use this booklet here, tells you, hey, you can build Gollum and uh, you got some advertisement for other sets as well as a parts guide on the back and it's just, yeah, it's bleh. Main build here is on this transparent blue base. For those of you who don't know, that can store information about the build you've done. It's not character or item specific. It just depends on what you're saving on it at the time of playing the Dimensions video game. I've seen roughly this sort of design as a spider before through many bootleg sets, but it's never been exactly like this one, so it's a little bit different. Uh, the spider's pretty small, pretty creepy, crawly, and uh, it'll probably scare my mom. She didn't know what it was and just saw it on the floor just randomly one day. If I place this in the kitchen and she walks in, it'll probably scare her. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, it's got the leg articulation, it's got the little butt articulation and the front articulation there for the face, for the head. As for Gollum here, he's on this little base and these bases that are printed will always store only one type of specific information, in this case the Gollum figure. And uh, the rock pad is actually printed pretty decent here. Usually these plates are printed pretty bad. And uh, but for some reason they decided to put a fish logo here which doesn't necessarily scream Gollum to me. Yeah, it's related to his character, but if I was to play this 10, this, ten years later uh, and you know these pieces were all in the bucket and I put this out, I wouldn't know that this was Gollum. I had to like, test each one out of the game. So uh, it would have actually been better if they just printed Gollum's face on there. That'd be something. Speaking of Gollum, he does have a fish. And the only articulation that he does have is his arms, and that's very disappointing uh, for a Gollum minifigure. And uh, I get what they're going for, I get why he looks like that, even as a, a figure from the original sort of Hobbit or Lord of the Rings set, but that's just not good enough. He doesn't look like a Lego figure. The head's not Lego shape, really. I mean, it's a bit more square, but it's not really Lego shape. He does have a stud on the back, but... Uh, yeah, it's just not very good. He is printed nicely, but I just wish... That Gollum was a slightly more traditional minifigure. These days we have the Gremlins, uh, that little bad Gremlin leg. It's shorter than the regular minifigure leg, but has a little curvy sort of animal bend to it. So if they ever release Lord of the Rings sets again, which they're probably not going to, but if they ever do, I wish that Gollum would become a minifigure and they use that leg piece for him. If you're looking for a cheap way to get Gollum and just Gollum, this is not the way to go, even though these sets are pretty cheap. Gollum has been featured in many small sets in the past, so try and get those. Unless those sets have inflated in price, then get this one. If you do play, you know, this game, then, you know, it's another character to get. And Wave, uh, wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, these blue base sets have dropped in price significantly. So if you can track them down for a cheap price, then it's worth a get. Uh, I'm definitely glad that these aren't being sold for their original release prices anymore. Subscribe to and comment below and guys take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Click the like button, subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And of course, leave a comment below on how you feel about these minifigure dolls. I'm still not a fan of them, but there's definitely an audience out there for them since they're still producing them after all this time. As always, you can support this channel via Patreon. It's in the links below. Or if you don't want to do that, you can always just turn off ad block and uh, so I can get a little bit of ad revenue here since all these toys, well, cost money. And if you enjoy what I do here, then, you know, give me a little support so I can keep doing it. As always, you don't have to do any of that. Take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys next time. Same bat time, same bat channel.